Hello YouTube. I'm going to be doing a video that I previously did about how to hack into Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspots. Now this is going to be an updated video on that. A lot of people requested it because Xfinity updated their website. So now you have to do a different method. This method actually might be simpler for some people because now you don't have to change your MAC address every time. The only difference now is you have to change your email address every time and nobody wants to create a new email address every hour. So this updated video is gonna show you a way around that and it doesn't require a rooted Android. First thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure is you have two browsers on your Android. So I have Firefox and I have Google Chrome. First step is you're gonna to wanna to make sure your Wi-Fi is disabled. You wanna make sure your mobile data is turned on, okay? Now, first step is going to be open up this browser. Open up Firefox. Load a web page called Email Generator. I'll leave a link in the description for you. The one I use is this one right here. All right, copy this. It's very important you leave this website open and you click copy because what's gonna happen is this little loading thing is gonna show up email addresses, or sorry, emails are gonna pop up here. Specifically, the one we're looking for is the verification from Xfinity. These are temporary email addresses and they will only purpose they serve is to get these uh, ver verifications. So, next thing you're gonna do, leave this page open and make sure you copy, it's very important. Turn on your Wi-Fi. And the reason why I say you need two different internet browsers is because when you click sign in here, it's gonna use Google Chrome to do it and then you can't get back to that previous website. See, it's this. See, it's gonna say welcome back because I already previously used one just an hour ago. Sign out, top right corner. I don't have an account, sign up. Hour pass, continue. Now, this is the same. It's a different look on the website, but it's the same. This is the part that matters now. You have to have a real email address. So we're gonna paste, hold down on there with your Android, just hold down on that part of the screen and click paste. Then use a real zip code. So now, yes, they made it so you had to have a real email address, but they actually lowered their security. You don't need to change your MAC address anymore. So you don't need a rooted device anymore. There we go. Create any password. Make sure they're the same. So they actually made it easier to hack into it every time. You're gonna wanna remember your password. It's important you remember your password, okay? Because you're gonna need it in a second here. Crap, I just messed up. I accidentally clicked terms and conditions. Hold on here. Hate that my phone is so small. I should have went with the Pixel XL, but I decided to go with the smaller one this year. Uh, I could always switch back to my Nexus 6P, but I'll get the Pixel XL too. But all right. There you go. The only thing that matters here is your password. You need to remember that. You could use the same password every time if you wanted to so you don't forget. But it's gonna load it and it's gonna let you through here. 
It says, to complete your account, you must click the activation link emailed to you within three days. The email address and the user ID, okay? Password expire, blah, 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 blah. So, now, turn this off temporarily again. Refresh this web page. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you're connected to your data this time. Refresh the web page. You have one new message, email approved. Important, please verify your email address. And down here is the email. Verify email address. Now you have to remember that password. Capital A C H I L L E S one two three. Thanks for verifying. Now your your username is going to be that. So now you turn back on your Wi-Fi, and everything works. So they actually made it even easier for you guys. Actually made it easier. You don't need to change your MAC address every time. The only thing you need to do is make sure you have data connection and then use an email generator and switch back and forth. So you start off with, turn, with your Wi-Fi turned off, load this web page, copy this, this email address here, then turn Wi-Fi back on, sign up for it, turn Wi-Fi back off, load this, re reload this web page, click it, and log in. That's it. No longer requires you to root your phone. If you have any more questions, just uh, leave a comment. I'll be trying to reply as fast as possible. I'm um, sorry it took so long to upload this. Uh, I've been busy lately, but... Uh, if you are thankful for this, I would appreciate the subscribe and uh, catch you in the next one, guys.